Are you tired of having oats or coconut in every low calorie dessert you want? If so, stay tuned and enjoy these oat and coconut free low calorie chocolate chip cookies here today on Cambridge Foods by Isaac. Okay folks, here are the ingredients that we're going to use today to make our low calorie chocolate chip cookies. Uh, to start off with, we have at the bottom a one egg, one egg white. We have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Above that, we have one quarter cup of Truvia brown sugar. Uh, next to that, we have one half cup of stevia. Next to that, we have combined three quarter teaspoons of baking soda with one half teaspoon of salt. On the side of that, we have three quarters cups of Greek yogurt. Uh, for our flour today, we're going to be using one and three quarter cups of carb quick flour. This is a special flour that's made for diabetics, but it is the lowest calorie flour I have ever found. Um, so we're going to use that today. It has a nice buttery taste to it also. And of course, and the last but not least, our one cup of chocolate chips to make our chocolate chip cookies wonderful. So what I'm going to do now is pause the camera. We'll move over to our stand mixer and get started on our recipe. Okay folks, so to get started here, um, I put our three quarter cup of Greek yogurt into the bowl. And what I'm going to do now is mix in our brown sugar and our uh, stevia together and get that creamed. Let me just pour that in. And we'll get that started. And you always want to start out low so that the uh, sugar doesn't go flying everywhere in your face. And just give it a minute. Turn it up a little bit. There we go. Now you always want to make sure too that you scrape off your sides. So let's lift that up. And let me just grab a little spoon. Okay. So want to dig in there. You always want to dig on the bottom of the bowl too because sometimes these mixers don't reach the bottom. So just get on in there as best you can and make sure that it all gets incorporated. Okay, now to this we're going to add our egg and we're going to mix that and then we'll add this, the uh, second egg white and the vanilla. So let's get that going. going to pour in the egg white. And now our two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay. And we're going to check one more time around the bowl. Now see, you still have a little bit of runny egg there that needs to be mixed. Just go scrape around. That is a sticky piece of egg. Okay, and the neighborhood dog is barking a little bit, so don't mind that if you hear that noise. Okay. Try it just a little bit faster for a minute or so. Okay, that should be good. 
Now what I'm going to do is just pause the camera. I have our dry ingredients already combined together in a bowl. I'm going to slowly incorporate that into this mix. So I'll be right back. Okay folks, I'm back. You might have noticed here I changed the uh, paddle attachment. Didn't want to whisk anymore because I don't want all the dough stuck in those wires, but if you're using a hand mixer, that's fine. So what I'm going to do, because there's not a lot of room to work here, uh, especially with the camera directly in front of my hand here, I'm just going to scoop the flour in a little at a time. And remember, this is the carb quick flour, um, which is super low calorie. And what I'm doing is just putting a little bit to get it started and I will gradually add more. So that looks like enough for now. And let's get that started. Okay, and remember you always want to take a little break in between and scrape the sides. Okay, our dough is mixed and now it's time for the fun part, stirring in our chocolate chips. I'm just going to do half at a time and see if I really need a full cup or not. That's totally up to you. Chocolate chips are pretty high in fat and calories, so if you can get by with using less, even better for you. I think I'm going to need some more chocolate chips. So let's go ahead and put those in. And just stirring it by hand with a teaspoon here. Now while I'm doing this, of course, I have my oven already preheated at 350 degrees, just waiting for me to be ready. Okay, that was getting nice and thick. Let's look and see if we have any blind chocolate chip spots here. Yeah, that looks a little barren. Okay, yeah, maybe I am going to use the whole cup. <laughs> okay, that's looking great. So now what we're going to do is actually just make some scoops of these, maybe roll them into little balls. We're going to put them on parchment lined cookie sheets. Now you can just spray cooking spray on the cookie sheet if you want to. I like using parchment paper because there's no cleanup on those cookie sheets. Okay everybody, the cookies have been scooped and they're placed out on their trays here. It actually does truly make 36 cookies if you try to shave a little off of some and make one extra ball here. But you see, there are so many trays here I definitely have to cook them in batches. So what I'm going to do now is put them in the oven and um, you want to bake these for about 13 minutes. You want to go back and check on to make sure they're okay. With the carb quick flour, I noticed sometimes the tops do not brown. So just take out a little bit, maybe flip one, check underneath, um, and it should be cooked just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven, and uh, when we come back, you'll see the finished product. Well guys, our cookies are finally done, and as you can see, I have quite a pile here. I actually had to bake the cookies in multiple batches to get them all baked. Now I do want to uh, zoom in a little bit so you can get a good look at the detail on these cookies. They are very light and fluffy. They're not the typical dense kind that you're used to. Um, I'm just going to grab one here so you can see. If you look, I'm going to flip it over and get that into the shot here. You can see the air bubbles in these. So they bake almost kind of soft like a pancake, but that does not affect the taste at all. You will truly enjoy these. Of course, the first batch came out and I had to eat them right away. You will not be disappointed with these guys. So let me go ahead and break one of these open and uh, have a taste with you guys. All right, here it is, the moment we've been waiting for. Let's break into this cookie and enjoy. As you see here, I open that up. It is very airy, light and fluffy. Like I say, it's almost like having a chocolate chip pancake. These are so good. Here we go. Mm. 
definitely enjoyable. You got so much chocolate in there from all the chocolate chips. You've got a buttery taste because of the flour that I used that uh, chose that um, carb quick flour has a naturally buttery flavor even though there's no butter in this at all. Um, Greek yogurt made it nice and uh, rich and buttery. You don't taste any stevia. Sometimes stevia has an aftertaste. None of that here. Just a great sweet chocolate chip cookie. And at only 53 calories a cookie, you can enjoy a few of these and still keep down your calories enjoying your sweets. So friends, I hope you enjoy. Be sure to make these. Um, try mixing different types of chips in them. They make cinnamon, butterscotch, all kinds of things. The sky's the limit. So have fun, enjoy these cookies, and stay tuned to Cambridge Foods by Isaac for another great sweet treat coming your way soon. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to click the subscribe button to learn more about the Cambridge program, the product reviews, or some great recipes.